Hello, my name is Bharat and welcome to this preview session on astrological predictions using Krishnamurti Padati which is scheduled on the 28th May 2017 at 7 a.m. India Standard Time and on the 27th of May at 9.30 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time. More details are available on CosmicInsightsShop.com. The Krishnamurti Padati system of astrology was formulated by K. S. Krishnamurti ji during the period 1963 to 1972. He wrote extensively about this system in his magazine Astrology and Atrishta, which was published from 1963 till 1974, which was it was published for about two years after his demise. The Krishnamurti Padati system of astrology is very strongly oriented towards giving a prediction along with an accurate date. K.S. Krishnamurti was known to give predictions accurate to a few minutes. Of course, we are not going to be able to predict with that degree of accuracy, but I would be very happy if we learn to predict events which are accurate to let's say uh, 30 or 40 days or one week or 10 days or 15 days many of my predictions have been accurate uh, down to the last seven days so if we can get to that level of accuracy i'll be very happy the krishnamurti padati system of astrology is based on four important pillars pillar number one it is based on the placidus system of house division which is a western concept this system varies or differs from the Vedic system of house division which is the equal house division concept where one house is equal to one sign. But in the Krishnamurti Padati system of Placidus house division there may be one or more houses in one sign. For example in this chart you will see that in the sign of Cancer, in the sign of Cancer you have house cusp number 2 as well as house cusp number three which never happens in traditional Vedic astrology. The second important pillar of Krishnamurti Paddhati is the use of is the use of a system where every planet's every planet's result is categorized into four different buckets that is type A result, type B result, type C result and type D result. A type A result is a result when a planet gives the result of the house in which its nakshatra lord is placed. If Venus is placed in the sign of Mars and Mars itself is placed in the 11th house then Venus will first give 11th house results. Type B result is a planet gives the result of the house which it occupies. So if Venus occupies house number 10 then Venus will give the result of house number 10. Type 3 result is the result where a planet gives the result of the house which is owned by the nakshatra lord. For example if Venus is in the sign of Mars and Mars let us say owns uh, the 4th house and the ninth house as an example then Venus will first give the result of the 4th house and 9th house before it gives the result of the house which it itself owns. Type D result is the result which the planet gives of the house which it owns itself. So every planet gives four different types of results which are categorized as type A result, the strongest result, type B result, the next strong result and the type C result which is a slightly weaker result and the weakest result is the type D result. So this is the second pillar of Krishnamurti Paddhati. The third pillar of Krishnamurti Paddhati is the concept of ruling planets. Professor Krishnamurti said that the planets which are prominent at the time when the query is placed are the same planets which will deliver the result when the results are scheduled to be delivered. 
and the fourth important pillar of Krishnamurti Paddhati is the use of the sublords. Traditional Vedic astrology divides every every uh, every nakshatra into into nine different into four different parts, which is the dharma part, the artha part, the kama part, and the moksha part. But Krishnamurti Paddhati divides every nakshatra or every constellation into nine unequal parts. Each unequal part is owned by one planet and the length of each unequal part is determined by the duration that planet owns under the Vimshotri Dasha system of astrology. So the four important pillars of Krishnamurti Paddhati system of astrology are number one the use of Placidus house division, number two the type of result every planet gives which is a type A result, type B result, type C result and type D result, three the use of ruling planets, four the use of sublords which is the subdivision of a nakshatra every nakshatra is subdivided into nine unequal parts how these unequal parts are derived we will see in the main course but let's proceed to the next slide in the krishnamurti paddhati system of astrology you can either analyze a natal chart or you can analyze a time chart or you can analyze a horary chart a time chart is a chart which is cast at exactly the same time when the query is raised by the querent. But in many cases it is not possible for the astrologer to cast the chart exactly at the time when the query is raised by the querent in which case the astrologer asks the querent to give a random number between 1 and 249. The random number is between 1 and 249 because K.S. Krishnamurti divided the entire zodiac into 249 parts and when the querent gives a random number between 1 and 249 in this case the random number is 49 the random number fixes the lagna for example in this case the random number is 49 which fixes the lagna in mercury sign we will see the lagna is we see the lagna is at 10 degrees 26 minutes 40 seconds in the sign of gemini so the lagna is fixed in mercury sign in rahu star which is the star arudra and within arudra it is in the subdivision of saturn so the lagna is ruled by mercury rahu and saturn now let's move to the next chart where we see a very important thing when the querent gives a random number that random number must place moon place the moon from the lagna in such a way that the moon signifies the type of query very strongly in this case the querent asked me when will I get married. So if the moon does not or the mind of the querent does not reflect this query of marriage the prediction is most likely to go wrong because the querent is not deeply involved with the query. But fortunately in this case we see the moon signifies the ninth house which is circled as a type A signifier moon signifies the ninth house strongly in a type A manner and the ninth house as you know is all about religious ceremonies so marriage is a very big religious ceremony at least in India. The moon signifies the eleventh house as a type B significator. The eleventh house as you know is always required for any event to happen successfully as a type C signifier moon signifies the fourth house which is the domestic environment the fourth house is also connected with marriage and 
as a type D signifier, the moon also signifies the second house, which is the house of the family. So we see that at the star level, the moon signifies marriage quite strongly. And not only at the star level, but the moon must signify marriage at its sub level also. So if we go to the next, uh, next slide, we see that the moon is placed in the sign of Taurus, which is owned by Venus. And moon is in the nakshatra or constellation of Kritika, which is owned by the sun. And the moon is in the subdivision of Jupiter. So the sublord of moon is Jupiter. And Jupiter signifies houses 11, which is circled in red, houses 12, houses 2, and houses 7 in addition to house number 3. Okay. House 11 is a very important house for marriage. House number 2, which is the house of family, is a very important signifier of marriage. And house number 7 is a very important significator or the most important house which is required for marriage. So, in this example, we see that the moon at the star lord level signifies houses 9, 11, 4, 2, which are all marriage houses, and at the sub lord level also signifies, signifies house 11, 2, 7, and 12. Using this position of the moon, we come to an understanding whether or not the querent was deeply engaged with the question. If the querent through the position of the moon is found to be deeply engaged with the question, then it is very reasonable to assume that the astrologer will be able to make the right prediction concerning the date of marriage, which is the query in this case. The query in this case is when will I get married? So the first step really is to check how strongly the query is reflected by the position of the moon based on the random number which has been given, which in this case is random number 49. Going to the next slide, we see, we have to see rather, which are the planets which are the strongest significator of marriage and which has the power and the ability to deliver this marriage. I came, to the, I came to the conclusion after studying this chart that Sun, which signifies houses 9 at the A level, 9 at the B level, 11 at the C level and 4 at the D level, can deliver marriage because Sun is in its own subdivision, which is not visible here, but sun is in its own subdivision. So sun can deliver the result of house nine very strongly. House nine, as you know, is the house which is concerned with religious events. Then I came to the conclusion using the principles of Krishnamurti Padati that Mercury is another planet which can deliver marriage because not only does it signify house nine as a B category signifier, but it also signifies house 7 as a C category signifier and based on its sublord also, I came to the conclusion that Mercury could also deliver marriage. In this case, since there was the possibility of a love affair resulting in marriage, I also took into account Saturn as a key planet for this marriage because Saturn was very strongly signifying houses 5 as a A category signifier and as a B category signifier. What you cannot see very clearly which was which is not visible in this chart is that Rahu which is in red also signified houses 12 which is connected with marriage and houses 5 which is connected with love affairs and house 7, house 7 which is concerned with or connected with marriage. So in order to make a prediction, in this case, I took four important planets which are the Sun, Mercury, 
सैटन एंड राहु एंड बेस्ड ऑन द दशा मुक्ति अंतरा ऑफ द प्लैनेट्स आई केम टू द कंक्लूजन दैट बेस्ड ऑन दिस होररी चार्ट द मैरिज वुड हैपन इन सन दशा सन इज एन इंपॉर्टेंट सिग्निफायर इन मर्क्यूरी अंतरा मर्क्यूरी इज एन इंपॉर्टेंट सिग्निफायर ऑफ मैरिज इन राहु प्रत्यंतरा राहु इज अ इंपॉर्टेंट सिग्निफायर ऑफ मैरिज एज आइडेंटिफाइड अर्लियर एंड अगेन इन सन सूक्ष्मा बिकॉज सन इज अ वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट सिग्निफायर ऑफ मैरिज इन दिस केस एंड दिस लेड मी टू दिस डेट ऑफ अराउंड ट्वेंटी सेकेंड ऑफ फेब्रुवरी टू थाउजेंड एंड फिफ्टीन सो आई क्वाइट बोल्डली प्रेडिक्टेड टू द क्वेरेंट दैट यू आर लाइकली टू गैट गेट मैरिड ड्यूरिंग द पीरियड ऑफ वन वीक बिगनिंग अबाउट द ट्वेंटी सेकेंड ऑफ फेब्रुवरी टू थाउजेंड एंड फिफ्टीन द क्वेरेंट एक्चुअली गॉट मैरिड ड्यूरिंग द पीरियड ट्वेंटी नाइन्थ ट्वेंटी नाइन्थ जनवरी टू द फिफ्थ फेब्रुवरी टू हंड्रेड एंड फिफ्टीन विच इज ओनली अबाउट ट्वेंटी टू डेज ऑफ फ्रॉम माई प्रडिक्टेड डेट नाउ आई डोंट थिंक इट इज वेरी ईजी टू मेक अ प्रडिक्शन टू ईयर्स इन एडवांस विच इज ऑफ फ्रॉम इट्स टारगेटेड प्रडिक्शन डेट बाई ओनली ट्वेंटी टू डेज इन माई कंसिडर्ड ओपिनियन कृष्णमूर्ति पद्धति इज perhaps the among the very few forms of astrology which not only is able to predict with very simple techniques but is able to narrow down on a very narrow range of dates during which the event is likely to happen in my own experience of more than maybe about 5 700 charts maybe a thousand charts i found that I have been very accurate in about seventy percent of my predictions. I have been reasonably, I have been reasonably accurate in about twenty percent of my predictions, and I have gone wrong in about ten percent of my predictions. Krishna Murti, the Krishna Murti Padati system of astrology, is extremely simple. If you know basic Vedic astrology, it is extremely simple to follow. there are only 3 4 5 or 6 rules which are important to follow and the same rules are used again and again the important thing about krishna murti padati is that you do not have to be bothered about divisional charts under the regular vedic system of astrology there are hundreds of divisional charts or at least there are dozens of divisional charts under the krishna murti padati system of astrology this is the only chart that you have got to look at and using very few rules it is possible to predict or it is possible to deliver a result using a accurate natal chart or using a horary chart which i have just shown you a few minutes back so for those of you who are interested in understanding this entire system in only about 4 hours of a single lecture then i would urge you to join the course on the 20 on the 27th of may eastern time and on the 28th of may indian time all the details of which are available on this url cosmicinsightsshop.com and i look forward to seeing you on the 28th of may or the 27th of may as the course may be all the best